these two sides met each other in the semis last year. Chelsea were dominant in, in that tie uh, over both of the legs, winning this one to go on to the final and win that final. What's changed since then for Real Madrid? How can they be confident that they can come away from this one with a better result, Ale? Well, I think Real Madrid are coming from what was a really good performance against PSG. And that gives you a sense of confidence that you knew you were good enough to try and compete against PSG, but then you go and do it, and that puts you at a different level entirely. As the makeup of Real Madrid and the team itself, Vinicius Jr. is a much better player now than when he was last season. Karim Benzema has not slowed down. In fact, he continues to get better. And it's amazing to say that for a guy of his age, and yet he continues to produce at a ridiculous level. The midfield three, yes, it's a year later, but still an important and critical part to what Real Madrid do. Defensively, they have been better. And Thibaut Courtois is also better this year than he was last season. So overall, the feeling for Real Madrid is we are better and in a better position now than what we were last season. I cannot say the same thing about Chelsea. I look at Chelsea, and you cannot tell me that the current situation in the club does not, in one way or another, affect the performance on the field. And eventually, these things show up in the biggest stages. Well, it doesn't get any bigger than Champions League. And so for me, Chelsea come into this uh, with some difficulties and some questions about their team and their team makeup, I think Real Madrid come into this with less questions than Chelsea does. Uh, Frank, what are your thoughts on the draw? Uh, completely the opposite of what, just, uh, what Ali just said, <laughs> you know, where I think that uh, uh, I completely disagree with him, where uh, I think it didn't affect any players lately uh, what's going on uh, with the club at Chelsea where they showed characters, you know, winning all the games that they had to. And uh, I, I never thought that Real Madrid won against Paris Saint-Germain. I completely think that uh, Paris Saint-Germain lost against Real Madrid. Uh, the performance of Real Madrid players were absolutely abysmal the, the first leg and uh, also the same the second, the second tie, you know, for like an hour. And without a fantastic Benzema, but a horrendous uh, uh, players from Paris Saint-Germain, for half an hour, Real Madrid would have never gone through uh, that tie. So I don't think we can, that can change from last season where Chelsea is a favorite and Chelsea will still be the favorite even if they played behind closed door that, that tie. So uh, I think Chelsea player will be quite happy. I, th I know that Tuchel is going to be uh, happy also for the tie. It's going to be a difficult task, but if we compare the quality of the two teams, there is no doubt that Chelsea are the favorites. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and of course, ESPN FC seven days a week, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.